Today's episode is brought to you by Telecom Careers, the number one global telecom and wireless job board. Telecomcareers.net. Hi, my name is Roy Davis. I've got one of the best jobs here at Critical Power. I'm a senior systems engineer for the DC Power Systems Group. And what that means is I get to work with sales, product management, development to help come up with the new products for specific applications or product for market-based products. Today we're going to talk about the heart of a DC system. Now DC systems are made up of frameworks, infrastructure in the frameworks, uh, input-output, distribution and management systems, controllers that, that look at all that stuff, but still the heart of a, a DC power system is the converter. And today's converter that we're going to talk about is our next generation platform, GP100, global product platform. It's a true three-phase rectifier. If you can see in the back here, this is our present generation of GP100s. It's about eight watts per cubic inch. We basically have taken that design and gone down and looked at various market type stuff so that we can go into OEM space, data center space, and industrial space and go into a variety of applications. What that caused us to do is go into a one U footprint. So basically we've gone from eight watts per cubic inch to 30 watts per cubic inch. Um, a lot of it goes down to the multiple processors, the artwork of laying out signals, the artwork of doing thermal, thermal management. You can see there's fans on here, there's multiple processors, a primary DSP, secondary DSP. The DSPs are talking to each other, giving us information that we've never had before. Some of this information includes fan speeds, inlet outlet temperatures, temperatures of components, black box, we're able to, when a rectifier goes down or, or even if it's up and running, pull signals through it. Um, one of the other innovations is doing uh, software upgrades. We can do remote software upgrades through controllers. So you can kind of look at this as a, a mini computer with high intensity processing, on voltage and sig uh, current signals. It's a true three-phase rectifier, whereas other people have uh, a three-phase and neutral in order to run the rectifiers. This is true three-phase. It doesn't need that fourth leg. Um, it's a interleaved three-input resonant topology that goes out to a, a DC bus. So a rectifier takes in AC, puts out DC, and this one happened to take uh, 320 volts in, to 530 volts, up to 600 volt excursions, and puts out 48 volts nominal, okay? So people are expecting high performance, quality, and delivery inputs, outputs, all arranged on a single connector. Not only do you have to do nice performance expectations, but one of the things going into other industries, it's got to feel and look good. It's got to be able to go into configurations in a horizontal mode or even a vertical mode. So we spent a lot of time making this look and feel good. Although we, I said that this is a 40 volt, eight output voltage, more voltages are to come. Stay tuned. Thank you very much for your time. Today's episode is brought to you by Telecom Careers, the number one global telecom and wireless job board, telecomcareers.net.